107.5 WBLS. It's always a pleasure whenever I get to get together with this brother, man. It was just months ago he was in this studio and he was expecting his son any day now. And two days later, Mr. Roman Alexander? Roman Alexander, yes. Raj. Yes. Did you give all those names because you ain't having no more? Is that I, I what didn't, happened? I didn't give none of those names, to be <laughs> honest with you. Those names were put together by my wife and uh-huh. uh, the baby's godmother, who's, who's Indian. So she, she has oh. the Raj on there. So, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. How is he? He is fantastic. I, I, just, I was just, He's loud. He's <laughs> really, really loud. Like, he's got lungs at right. five months, like, the whole, just echoing through the whole house. But he's a good baby, though. He don't really, he only cries no. when it's, you know, when, when babies need stuff. It's right. bottle time or it's, Change his diaper. Other than that, he'd be chilling. So I'm, right. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy that I have a, a, a calm a and serene yeah. baby. What a blessing. But when he go, you know. I know. The next it's door on and popping. Like, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That just means that he just may be a singer. You just Maybe. may have a singer. I mean, all all is, of my kids got the buzz. Is it on key? It's, is it, is it, it is crying on key? On key? <laughs> it is on key. He, he was born with perfect pitch. So That's I'm right. in a good space. Yeah. Excellent. So I saw a little bit of uh, the pictures from Mason and Madeline's birthday party. Yeah. I'm like, I think you had more fun than they did. Oh, man, I was having a ball. <laughs> I, I was having a ball for a few different reasons. So this this is clearly not the first time we've done their, right. their joint birthday party. Uh-huh. But um, this was kind of uh, kind of the thing that set up our, our first blended family Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, yeah. We had never done one before. You know, Mon- Monietta is, is the mother of my two my, my two oldest. Right. And then I have two younger children with my with my wife, Crystal. Right. Mm-hmm. And we had never done, we don't normally do holidays together. It's like we, we alternate. You know, if I get Thanksgiving, you get Christmas. Okay. If you get Christmas, I get Thanksgiving. But uh, Mo just wrote a book mm-hmm. called uh, Keeping right. It Classy about co-parenting. Yes. We went on the reel and spoke about it in the whole night. We all went out there together, right, right, me, right. Mo, and Crystal. And this was our first time just, so so kind of to commemorate that and just bring it all bring it all full circle, we did Thanksgiving together. It was fantastic. Had an absolute ball. I, I anticipated a little bit of shade, a little bit of drama, but none, none whatsoever. You so sure? I was, oh, none. Really? Absolutely none. None. What a everybody, blessing. You know, everybody's the, on the same page finally. So exactly. You know, the last time I spoke to Alicia, she was telling me the same thing. She told mm. me it was a little bumpy journey getting yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, as bit. usual, because first, before anything, you're human. Exactly. You know, so you have feelings and you got to work through some of those feelings to get where you to obviously where are. are right you know, now. I, I yeah. think it just took everybody finally getting past the feelings and emotions and getting to what's really and truly important, which is making sure that these kids grow up in an environment of love. And mm-hmm. nothing more. So happy about that. But yeah, the, the birthday party was kind of the preemptive too to, to that. the so Thanksgiving. I was having a ball, man. I know you. I've been sitting back like waiting you. on these <laughs> days. You know what I mean? So, so I'm in a good space. So what is what is a, a Christmas tradition for you, Neo? Growing up, what what mm. do you do you think you have um, experienced when you were young, and you take into your adulthood now with your children? Christmas traditions. Ah, uh, the only tradition that we really had was that. Ma would normally let us open up one gift on Christmas Eve. I don't know if that's very uh, original. I, I don't know how many other No, it's. Had, I mean, but, but it doesn't have to be original. It's just your tradition. Well, yeah, you know? I mean, that's that's something that we do. We'll let the kids open up one on Christmas Eve and then, you know, save the rest for Christmas Day. But other than that, we kind of we kind of wing it. You know, it's, it's right. been it's been different, you know, since since, you know, me and Mo's separation and mm-hmm. just the whole alternating back and forth with the kids. So it's like uh we we kind of had issues putting together any specific traditions just because right. it's like okay so one year they're with us and then one year they're not right. but now that we're doing it the way that we're doing it we we definitely have to figure out some things that are that, that are blended keep, family yeah, that'll be traditions a that we all mm-hmm. get together and do so yeah. I'm looking forward to because my kids you know they're grown they're all grown but. Every Christmas Eve, they want to make cookies for Santa. And I'm like, <laughs> Santa who? That's dope. I mean, <laughs> but it's a tradition. They're like, we're going to make the cookies for who? That's you know, because they don't I have mean. any kids. Mm-hmm. I'm not a grandmother yet. So I'm like, I don't know who we're making the cookies now, y'all for. Y'all know good and damn well. <laughs> You know, yeah, but it's, it's all good though. It's exactly. All good. So we do, well, no, 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 because I can't cook. I can't cook at all. Not, no, be bad. Really? You done burnt some down, you know. Nothing at Ooh. all. Well, I, you know what? I can make um, I can make a banging bowl of cereal. I do that very well. <laughs> um, what I'm was cool, your favorite cool cereal growing up? Oh man, cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon Hands toast. Down. Even to this day, right now, cinnamon toast crunch. Really? Listen, 
I, I, I told this to my wife. I was like, listen, if you want to you wanna hook me emotionally, <laughs> show with a random box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and you might get a ring. And, and sure enough, oh. she got the ring. So, yeah. so tell us what your favorite Christmas song is. Growing up, you remember this song playing oh, in the background, man. the uh, soundtrack to your youthful Christmases. This Christmas, hands down. Hey, hold the mistletoe. I wanna get to yeah. know you better. That Did you young. ever do a Christmas album? I I didn't. I I've done a Motown Motown put out a Christmas album and I did a song I did a song on there. Okay. But never a Christmas album myself. And I thought about it. I thought about it. Why, why yeah, you might. Not? You know, Christmas songs last forever. Yes, they, they do. Never go away. I was just talking to Mariah and I'm mm-hmm. like, listen, you on everybody Christmas playlist. Wrong. I don't care All whose I playlist want for it is. Christmas it, is you. Hello. No matter what. No oh, matter yeah. where mm-hmm. you are, you have got to hear that song. And you go to Japan, you're gonna hear it yeah. in the overhead speakers in the mall. Very real. You know, Very real. she is a state in our Christmas um, uh, gatherings. Shout now, out to Mariah, by the way. I think yes. she just put an album out. Shout out to Mariah. And it did very well, too. Nice. It did very well. So you got this show on Saturday. Yes, indeed. And I'm, I keep telling people, if you've never seen Neo in concert, you have got to put it on your bucket list. Oh, please do. Tell them why. Well, because I leave it on the stage, man. Like, I, I come from that era of... You know, me personally, I don't I don't want to go to a concert and see somebody phone it in. I don't want to pay, you know, my money and then see somebody get up there and and not give they all. So in that I don't want to see it, I'm not going to do it to my fans. So right. I'm going to get up there uh, with the boot on and all and and I'm going to move around like that like my foot ain't broke. Like that's this is this is where I come from. The right. show must go on and you must put on a show. So with Did that you being said, that's dance what I'm about. before sing? Did you were you a dancer nah, before nah, you the, were the, singing? Nah, the dancing kind of came with the singing. I mean, I okay. was I was sliding around on my socks in the kitchen trying to moonwalk like <laughs> everybody else was a kid. I was doing that, but no real actual dance uh, schooling or teaching until really? until I had already got a deal and got into the business. Shout out to Jamaica Craft, who's been my choreographer pretty much, pretty much from the beginning. It was Tanisha Scott first. Shout out to the lovely Tanisha Scott, and mm-hmm. then and then Jamaica Craft. And uh, these are the these are the women that made me look like I could dance at a point where I where I could but couldn't as well as some people might have thought I could. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a beast now. Now you are, but I had I had to grow into this beast, you right? Because yeah. I heard you don't leave home without your dancing shoes. You take oh, no, no, dancing no. shoes with you That's everywhere you a go. A specific shoe, a specific shoe. You can't dance in every shoe. You, so you, you brought it in something. here today? Oh I no, really, not everywhere. Well, I, well, not see, not everywhere you go. Plan on doing a whole no, lot of dancing today. No, Neo. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We got the we got the. The, the mobile prison on right this second. Okay, but it's it, coming off. It's coming off. Yeah. This, this happened in October. To, to, to all those in, in Radio Land who can't see, I have a, a lovely boot on <laughs> because I broke my foot in October. But I'm at the tail end of it now. You know, Because you year. were having too much fun at the kid's birthday party. I told well, y'all he was having a lot of fun. That would be a, a great story to tell, but no. what actually happened is just being clumsy, not paying attention, fell on the steps of the house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to see. I was going to come up with this really right. Dope story it would have been real nice. You know, somebody broke in the house and I had to defend my family, <laughs> so I kicked the dude, and, and the way my foot hit his face, and it just. I was going to do that, but right. see, my wife has she she's found a joy in completely thwarting my stories. Like like I feel like I feel like if I were to tell that story right now, right, she would, she would somehow magically find appear like way. that ain't what happened. Yeah, uh huh. That ain't what happened. <laughs> tell them well, this, tell them what really happened. Tell them how you felt. Maybe you off. were doing one of those Michael Jackson moves because I know that is a huge influence in a oh, lot yeah. of your choreography. Absolutely. And Absolutely. you know, I just saw the the Quincy um documentary. Yeah. And yeah was amazed to see the amount of people that came together Man. to salute him, you being one of them. Now, it didn't show too much of the show because mm-hmm. I guess they're going to air it on BET. Yeah, yeah, it's, com- it's but coming But did you soon. do a Michael song? What did you do? Um, ooh, can I, t- can I talk about it? Can, can, can I talk about can it? Can he say what he did? wait till the show come out. Can I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not certain. I'm not certain if I'm supposed to talk about. Oh. It, to be I mean, I. I am a. I am a part of the show. Right. But, uh, but uh, as far as what I did in the whole nine, I guess I. I wait. It's gonna be. A I'll surprise. let y'all wait and, and check it out on the actual show. That Q85 it, is coming out. It's coming on real soon. On BT December yes. 9th. Yes. I yes. do have that date. Okay. So December 9th, watch it. It is a bevy of superstars coming together to celebrate. Quincy, but we're coming together on Saturday to celebrate Neo yes, and indeed. Keisha Cole. You have a lovely Keisha Cole toured with Keisha. Um, this we've done. Time? I mean, we've never done a, a actual tour. We've done a bunch of shows together. You know, mm-hmm. see each other on the road all the time. 
But uh, uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be cool to to it's gonna be cool to share the stage with. Right. Mm-hmm. Who's your dream duet? My dream duet. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Good question. My dream duet. Okay. So, so all right. All right. Let me let me let me. <laughs> A little, little bit of backstory on this. See, okay. there's people that I would love to work with that my personal confidence in my own singing ability will not allow me to work with because I already know that once this person is on a song, there's no reason to have anybody else on a song. Okay. Singers like Rochelle Pharrell. You know what I mean? Uh, what, who else needs to be on that record? Well, Will Downing, he held okay, his own the, on but, that duet, okay, though. but that's Will Downing. Yes, like, yes. Come on, man. Like, that's just Will Downing. Of course yes. he held his own. I, I just, I know I know what I'm capable of. Mm-hmm. I would love to do a song with a, with a Rochelle Ferrer. I just, don't, I just don't know if I would be needed on that particular song. Right. So I have I have a few dream collaborations that, you know, I, I got I to gotta get my own confidence up a little bit before I make those things happen. All right. But there's none that you're comfortable with right now. You can say, you know, right listen, I... Right now, as far as just a dream collaboration? Because yeah. you've written for so many people. Nah, you've written I mean, for so many. I've, I've written for Beyonce. We've never done anything yes. together. That, I feel mm-hmm. like that would be cool. Me and Rihanna, we've definitely we've done one together. That's that's you know that that's etched in stone. Uh-huh. Uh, I feel like it's about time we got in again, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's it's. I'm here's my thing. I'm down mm-hmm. to work with anybody that is trying to do something that is going to outlive us. Right. I'm so tired of this disposable microwave music that's happening. It's oh, it's hot for for three weeks right. and then it goes away and you never hear from it again and you don't even remember it. Right. I'm tired of that. I, so my thing is. Let's do something that d- that defies trend. Let's do something that is staple. Something mm-hmm. that you know, twenty years from now, people are gonna listen to this and rock with it like they rocked with it. Right. 20 years ago. Let's try. Let's tr- let's shoot. For which that. song? Because you've written so many. Which song do you think is gonna be that song of yours? Because I know Beyonce's um, will live to infamy. Well, in my in my personal opinion, I feel like all of it is good enough to do so because of the because of the fact that I write it that way. I don't right. I don't write it trying to lock into a trend or, or what's hot right, right. now. Now, I'm gonna write what I feel is gonna be something relatable. It's gonna be something probably love based because love does not go out of style. You know that's that's a little bit of strategy for you. Write about things that don't go out of style, ladies and gentlemen. Right. <laughs> and the song a note to the style. writers yeah, who yeah. are listening. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Write about love. But um, I, I mean, I've I've timeless is what I'm always aiming. For. Yes, and you do stay with me has stayed with us, ah, and love. it is timeless. <laughs> that's love. You know when I first heard that song, I'm like, who is this guy? Because that was the first time I ever heard it, and that was my daughter said, Mom, that's Neo. You gotta take a listen to Neo. And I'm like, really? Que linda, ma? Que linda, ma? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow, this is dope. So, yes, there's a lot of songs that come from you that I can think of mm-hmm. that will stay with us, but stay with me. That's, that's is, the, is that's definitely, you. yes. I'll take that. That works for I'll me. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not super, uh, I'm not super boisterous about the things that I've done or even even real big on bragging on myself. So, I, And I've noticed that because of that, it's very easy for people to forget things that I've done. You know what I mean? Like like somebody somebody said to me the other day, man, you have, you have been here 10, 10, 11 years, huh? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, 10 years. Right. 10 years plus, actually. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's... it's I'm happy that I'm still here. I'm happy that people still care. Mm-hmm. I just I just wish that we we, you know, lived in a time where where people gave the respect that was due as opposed to me having to go, hey, remember when I did this? Right. Hey, remember when I did that? <laughs> hey, was you there when right. I... Right. But, you know, you know it's I mean. times like this when we get to sit down and you get to stay with us for an entire hour. Indeed, indeed. And they get to hear the songs and they say, damn, I... I forgot he made that. I forgot he made that. And that's why you need to be in the building at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden this exactly. Saturday so you can see and hear it all. Exactly. And he'll take you back and he'll bring you up to the future. It'll be a night of quality music start yes. to finish. Uh, music from that era when when love was was... You know, when it was all right to love, when it was all right to to roll down the street with your windows down, bumping a love song loud as hell. You remember that? You remember that time? Yeah. That was that honey. was there was an era when that was okay. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go back there and then we're gonna come on into right now, but still with some sort of integrity and 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 and, and classiness to what it is that we're doing. So yeah, come on down. It's gonna be a fantastic show if I do say so myself. I pay to see it. I would, I would pay to see you. I would pay well, you know what? To I'm going to give some tickets to somebody. They ain't got to pay to oh, see there it. there you go. 212 545 1075, calling number 17. Right now, we'll get tickets to be in the building with Neo and Keisha Cole. Yes, indeed. All right.
anything because every time you come, I got to ask because I loved you and Red Tails. Uh, when are we going to see you on the big screen ever again? Um, I know you're focusing stuff. on the music. Well, but yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm kind of all over the place right now. So we got World of Dance season right. three that we're shooting right now. That'll be coming out at the Congratulations top of the year. Congratulations on that. that. Uh, smaller screen, YouTube Red. I did a show for YouTube Red called uh, Step Up High Water. Whatever you remember the, the step up film, the dance film. Yeah. So they took that concept and turned it into a series, and uh, I'm, I'm a cast member on that show. We did the first season and went really, really well. So you dancing uh, for real, for real? Well, you doing I'm, some? I'm dancing, but I'm I'm doing more acting than dancing on this particular show. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. I, I leave the dancing to the to the dancers on right. this show. We got some amazing, amazing cast members, amazing dancers on this show. Wait, Check will out we season ever, one. Is huh? will we ever see you on Dancing with the Stars? Or that's just not something uh, you do? Maybe not yet. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a, you know. But later gonna on, you things, think? We're going to see how things go. <laughs> you know? I mean, well, for one, I'm on World of Dance, so right, I can't right, dance go with back, the stars. Right, go you know, back I'm, to World of Dance. I'm contracted, you know, <laughs> speaking nothing ill of, of Dancing with the Stars. I'm just saying. Your face said it all. We on this World go of ahead. Dance thing. We don't live that. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, season one of Step Up High Water is uh, on YouTube Red right now. You can check that out. YouTube Red is uh, YouTube's subscriber-based right. programming. You know, so check out season one. Season two, we just got finished shooting that. That's coming out. So I'm I'm on TV, uh -huh. just maybe not necessarily the big screen, not yet. I have some things in the works. See, I hate talking about stuff before it happens. I know you say that Cause every time. Because I, I always ask you, who would you like to portray mm. in a biopic? And you uh, say, I can't say because there's something in the works. Well, well, okay, as far as biopics go, I get a lot of biopics thrown my way. For whatever reason, the universe feels like I would be really good playing somebody else. I, however, do not believe this. I'm not. I'm still learning how to act. So to, to so throw you, on me yeah. a whole other persona, personality, you know, isms, <laughs> Of, of a person that existed, that's a really, really heavy load to carry. I don't it know is. if I'm ready for you that You don't yet. know if you're you know, ready Give for me that. a character that I can help create, mm -hmm. and, and we can fly. I, I'll give you that all day. But it's like, I need you to be this person. It's like, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I'm, know if I'm ready for that But you did pretty good at bringing the Tuskegee Airmen to life. True. Yeah, but, but the character you were they gave a... me was based on a collection of, pe of yeah. people. You know, right, it right, wasn't, right. you know, Smokey didn't actually It wasn't all eyes exist. on you yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I could I could do that. I can create a character. It's just being somebody. That's why I got to give so much love and respect to the boy uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman. You know, before he For did Black Panther, he did Jackie do. Robinson, uh -huh. he Third did Good Marshall. Brown, Third Good Marshall. Mm -hmm. Like that is that's a skill set that not a lot of people have. Right. You know what I mean? To look at a person and know this person, but then look at this person and not see that person for the character that they're playing. Right. That's I'm I'm not there yet, and I'm humble enough within myself to say I'm not there yet. Right. Give me some time. You're going to get there. Time. Not there yet. You're going to get there, and you're going to get to Dancing with the Stars later. Much later. I just, hey, World of Dance. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, World NBC. Make sure Love you all Where can yep. we see World of Dance? Wednesdays on NBC. Yeah, Make sure. I'm in, I'm in your living room every week if you right. turn it on. Yeah. But even more importantly, he's going to be on stage, oh, yes. live, living, and in color at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden this That's Saturday me. with Keisha Cole. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Always a pleasure Absolutely. to be in your company. Listen, Kiss the babies for me. I will definitely do so. And Thank you so much for your light. You have, you have an aura and energy that, you know, when I leave here, I feel like it's on me a little bit. I shine a little brighter when I leave. You know, so thank you for just being that light. I well, appreciate that. And thank you for always being a good man. All love. Yeah, babe. All right. It's 107.5 WBLS.